Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all have a great and wonderful day. Sorry for the videos, there's a lot of news that I still haven't been able to cover and I probably won't be able to cover very much tomorrow either because uh, I have vets and stuff to do and I do not have the actual amount of time to get all this done. I'm trying my best, but you know, it is what it is. But what we have here is the actual reality of the shooter. Now what we have here is there's always going to be more information so I will be reposting and updating you guys on what is going on with the actual shooter, but Every time more information comes out, the more insanity that it leads to. So, uh, what we have here is that the Secret Service was warned about ID Thomas Crooks as a threat 10 minutes before Trump took stage, but let ex-president go on anyway. The Secret Service was warned about Thomas Matthew Crooks and designated him as a threat 10 minutes before President Trump, Donald Trump took the stage, but allowed him to go on anyway. Law enforcement sources told the Fox, told the Post. So, this is a huge problem here. Let me read this again for everybody that can understand what I just what I just said. The Secret Service was warned about Thomas Matthew Crooks and designated him as a threat 10 minutes before President Donald Trump took the stage. So the only conclusion that you could come from here is is that they let Trump get shot. That that's the that's the only way we can come to this conclusion. Because if the Secret Service knew about, knew that he was an actual threat 10 minutes before he even took the podium, before he even took the stage, then the first thing that the Secret Service should do is, oh, I don't know, remove Trump from the actual stage or not make him go on the stage whatsoever. So that's very, very weird on um, how that's playing out and why that was even allowed in the first place. So, uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Continues. Uh, to say that uh, the agency was also warned that there was a character character of suspicion on the grounds more than an hour before Saturday's deadly shooting at Trump's campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, sources said. So they even knew there was a, uh, a character of suspicion, right? They, 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 he was suspicious on, you know, what was going on. Oh, I, this is really insane here. Uh, so multiple times they have failed into trying to stop Trump from getting on the podium right or on the stage multiple times they have multiple chances to try to stop it and they fail it in doing so it says that uh the fox news first reported new details which emerged during a st stunning senate briefing by the secret service on wednesday sources told the post that crooks was not described as having a gun when the warning went out it was identified as a character of suspicion because a rangefinder as well as a backpack and this was over an hour before the shooting actually occurred so you would think over the course of that hour, you shouldn't lose sight of the individual. Somebody ought to be following up on those sort of things. No evidence of that happening at all. Yes, because the Secret Secret Service Director is playing ignorance. Um, not wanting to ask any questions. Quite suspicious, don't you think? Uh, so, what we have here is that uh, uh, a secret of events of how... Uh, analysis of what actually happened between all that time and what we have here is that this is what we have according to anything july 3rd trump plans to hold rally with butler in pennsylvania to july 12th crooks planned shooting crooks visits the clarity and sportsman club to practice shooting he was notoriously a terrible shot in high school july 13th morning crooks buys supplies for shooting crooks stopped at a home depot to purchase a five-foot ladder and then at Bethel Park Ammo, where he bought 50 rounds of ammunition. Crooks enters rally. The 20-year-old is flagged as he enters the rally when metal detectors pick up a rangefinder he carried inside. He was still allowed to enter. Authorities kept close watch on him until he departed this departed the secure area. So uh, here's another thing too, guys. So why exactly was he allowed? They, the medical detector de de detected a rangefinder. So even here, he should have even got passed. He should have been moved on, uh, moved, denied actual entry. If not, I would say arrested because this is really bad. This is not, this is not good. He should have been denied entry here at 3 p.m., but he was able to go through. Uh, on thir July 13, 506, Crooks seen ne walking near building. Video take video from the rally taken. Time shows a man matching Crooks' description walking near a building just outside the secure, just outside the secure perimeter. He does not appear to have a rifle on his on his person at this time. 
545, Crooks spotted scoping out roof. A cop with the Beaver County Emergency Services Unit sees Crooks eyeballing the roof of the AGR International Building, which had a clear sight, sight line to the road podium where Trump would be speaking. 555. Secret Service warned of suspicious person of suspicious person. Of Secret Service is warned of of suspicious person identifies him as a threat, but allows Trump to take this podium anyways. So this is was at 555 at uh, at July 13th, 6:05. Uh, President Trump takes st takes the stage. Crooks is still located somewhere on the ground of the factory, which was outside the Secret Service security perimeter at the rally. 609. Crooks. Scales roof right around the time that this time Crooks climbed onto the roof of the manufacturing plant using the building's air conditioning units. Despite his purchase that morning, he reportedly never used a ladder to reach the roof. Cops tried to interfere 12 seconds before the shooting. Video showed police walking around the building Crooks was perched on. More bystanders start shouting, He's got a gun. A cop goes into onto the roof, but when the he re, but then retreats when Crooks points his rifle at him. And then 6 11. Crooks fires at Trump. Crook fires up to eight times at Trump. The ex-president's upper ear is hit, and Crooks is immediately shot and removed from, by the Secret Service. So, again, we have all this here, that's this information that's been going on with this man. And we can only say, only say this, that they allowed him to shoot at Trump. That's all we can say. Because if they knew he was a threat 10 minutes before Trump took the stage, there's even evidence that's showing that he they knew an hour. Why would they, why did they not push, why did they not make Trump not move from that stage, right? Why did they just keep him there? And that's very concerning. So, again, all we can say here, guys, is that the Secret Service allowed, allowed Trump to get shot at. That's the only, new, that's the only thing we could possibly say about this case, right? That's the only thing we can say about this. And we have more. He was also apparently a Democrat because what we have here is him uh, is one of his friends or one of his people that was associated with him or knew of him. Uh, kind of says this uh, says this. So without further ado, here's this clip. Was a quiet kid unless there was something that he was passionate about. Politics being one of them, he just did not like politicians, especially with the choices that we've had. Um, he did not like our politicians. Um, it was especially during um, 2016. It was Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, all of them. Um, he showed dis that he disliked all of them, did not like any of them. So I, I brought up the fact that I'm Hispanic and, you know, I'm, I'm for Trump. And he said, well, you're Hispanic, so shouldn't you hate Trump? And I was like, um, no, he's, he's great. I mean, like, he's a great president. And um, he's, you know, he called me stupid or insinuated that I was stupid. He's like, well, that's kind of stupid. If He, he was a know-it-all. Um, so, like, once again, if he was passionate about something, he would just talk, 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 and acted like he, know, he knew everything, especially politics-related. And... Um, he was just, he was, he would say it in a tone that was like, I'm better than you, in a type of way. And, you know, meanwhile, it's like, dude, we're in the same classes. You know what I mean? We're talking about the same stuff here. And whenever it comes to politics, I mean, at the end of the day, I can agree, you can agree, you can disagree, I can disagree. We're like, I'm not the vote in that. Like, at that point, it doesn't matter. At that point, it's, you know what I mean? We're just starting to figure out who we like and all. But, yeah, he was real... Uh, smug and arrogant whenever he was talking and whether that was his way to try to make friends or be funny I don't know but it, it, it got under my skin a lot so his friend group um, they were known for being like I said like just out there a little bit more recluse some of them didn't even show up to school some of them went home school some of them I think one of them went to like a private school um, they were definitely the type, and they did, make threats to shoot up our school. And that year, I believe it was our, I believe it was our freshman year, because I had left our freshman year before I had left. Um, you know, everyone going through Snapchat, everybody's texting, everybody, you know, saying this, that, and the third. Everybody was saying it was Thomas who made a threat, and it was that friend group. 
Um, everyone was mainly blaming their friend group, but a, a name that kept coming up was Thomas. And um, he never did anything, you know what I mean? He, he left school for a couple of days. It wasn't anything like a suspension or anything. It was just a couple of days, you know. He, he was not severely bullied. Almost nobody knew. So, you know, for somebody who got severely bullied, I can, I, I mean, I'm not going to name names, but I could name you a few students that were severely bullied, and I remember their names. He's not one of them. The signs were there, and somebody definitely had to go down. Somebody, whether he was talking to somebody, or somebody either just didn't realize and just overlooked it, somebody should have known, because he was not a loner. And if both of his parents be counselors, how do you not see that warning sign here or something? Everybody, anybody who knew him knew him should have seen something, should have known something was up. And I know it's, you know, it's kind of easy to hide, but people are going to get their affairs in order before they do something this bold and this drastic and nobody saw it and why. Oh yeah, he was uh, obviously not a loner. Uh, he hated, it looks like he actually hated Trump and uh, this guy didn't really like him all that much. So again, from Colin Rogue says that the former Thomas Crooks classmate says Crooks was a known Trump hater and as we and uh, was a know-it-all. The FBI still doesn't what, know what Crooks' motive could have been. Hispanic classmate Vincent uh, Termina recalled a political disagreement he had with Crooks after he told him that he was a Trump uh, supporter. He didn't like any politician that brought up the fact that I'm Hispanic and I'm for Trump. He said, well, you're Hispanic, so you shouldn't hate Trump. He insinuated that I was stupid. So yeah, this guy obviously has some problems. And what we have here is that from Emmy Truth Ultra saying, ooh, they are so busted. The Butler Township, Township Commissioner says this SS director is lying that the building the shooter was on was on as the responsibility was the local PD. The local Butler Township police, police's only duties assigned to them were strictly traffic detail. They were not detailed to any security detail related to the event. I was so frustrated, frustrated and frankly hit my limit was last night when I saw Secret Service saying it was the responsibility of the local de police department. That's absolutely incorrect. So, uh, yeah. So that being said, it's not looking like the Secret Service is looking good here, right? They look like they're they, they're the bad actors in all of this. They look like they have they they let Trump try to get assassinated, and I don't know how anybody can really refute why. You are gonna have to explain to me on how that's untrue because at this point, it's not looking good, and this woman should be immediately fired. The Secret Service should be fired, and honestly, I'm my personal opinion, jailed. Because I think there's actual malice here. There may actually be malice, and things need to be done. Justice needs to be served, because this is completely outrageous. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. This is algorithmic disease, the social media.